Does your Terra Master make this sound? I'm going to show you how to fix this. We'll be right back. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today I have a Buffalo TerraMaster TS3400 that is dead. Okay, not meaning doesn't power up. It just doesn't have a boot image to boot off of. However, I have a simple, unbelievably awesome fix for you guys. So don't be upset that it doesn't do anything. Because what happens is people just get rid of the hard drives and they think they can throw new ones in that think will work 100%. It doesn't. There is a procedure that you have to do once you power up the device and after it fails and you hear that be -do -de -do -de -do sound effect, at that point you wait two minutes and we're going to show you what we do next. It's absolutely amazing. You're going to love it. So we're going to get to that point where it makes all the noises and we'll, re we'll be right back. Okay, we hit the two minute mark. Now we could recover the drive or the boot partition of this. We could actually make it bootable so we don't get this error anymore. So at this point, we would press the function button. Watch what happens. Don't worry about anything else on the screen. Preparing recovery. It's simple as that. And the cool part is, is that the hard drive should start to do some activity. There they go. So it's actually creating the partition of the disks making sure all the drives are there and that's pretty much it so as you can see we got the the process starting already which is great it's just waiting for that noise to happen after two minutes press and hold the function button for like three seconds you'll hear it beep and then the recovery process starts. Now make sure you have physical hard drives in the machine, at least one, to get this process going and you're good to go. So we're just about finished. Here we go. Just beeped. Now uh, it's all done. <laughs> this is like so cool. Now we're shutting down. We're going to reboot it. The system's doing this all by itself. And then, if you have it connected to the network, it'll actually phone home and let you know if it needs new firmware. Then you can set up a new password. You can, it'll tell you the IP address on the screen. You access it via HTTP, HTTPS probably, and you can just start setting it up, setting up the raids, whatever you need to do, how many raids you want, raid one, raid five, raid zero, whatever you want. It comes, if you have four drives, it will be raid zero by default. So don't set anything up yet or any security rights or anything because you want to, you might want to change that to raid five or at least maybe two raid ones or whatever you like to do. Um, this is, I can't believe I found this. I found this accidentally because I left the thing on, to be honest with you. So guys, if you like this video, Give me a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time.